do it. Hola todos, bo Pascua, happy Easter. So this video I'm making on Easter Sunday and would come out on the Friday next. So in this video, I wanted to give an update on my Portuguese. And then the next video would be about Russian and the next video in French. So right now with Portuguese, I have, sorry to adjust, um, 1,013 hours of speaking, reading, listening, uh, watching shows, watching films, uh, videos, etc. in Portuguese, basically immersion in Portuguese. So, um mil, tres horas uh, in total. And then on the app that I used to read um, and save words and phrases is link, L I N Q dot com. Um, where I read Portuguese, Russian, French, and then I brush up on my Mandarin. I have, according to the app, I have 5,712 words that I know in Portuguese. So that is a lot compared to zero, and which is why I find it easier to watch things in Portuguese. So since Portuguese is my oldest, it's like my... Like if I had kids, it's my oldest kid. Or if I had boyfriends, it. I have been with this language for a long, the longest time since June of 2021. It makes sense that I'm more comfortable in the language and that I'm able to watch things mm, easier. I mean, easily understand things. So, but again, the struggle with European Portuguese is that. If I need something in European Portuguese, most of the time it's not available. So what can I watch in European Portuguese? Well, most of the time it's cartoons, desenhos um, animados, and usually the new stuff that comes out, especially in Netflix, like for example, um, the magician, the magician's elephant, or um, soccer football movie. Um, most of the time it's cartoons that is dubbed and subbed in European Portuguese. Today I found that Trolls, the first movie Trolls, is available and I started watching that as well. What else? The shows in, oh yeah, the series Shadowhunters. I started watching that years ago in English, but I found it boring after two seasons. So I stopped watching it but now I'm watching it again at first I tried watching it in English I mean in Portuguese in European Portuguese from episode one but I found it too boring since I already know what's going to happen and I didn't quite like the storyline so I just picked up where I left off which is on the third season some episodes there and then I started watching it in European Portuguese I also watched what else? I wanted to watch The Witcher Blood Origin, but it's dubbed in Brazilian Portuguese. So I stopped. And there's nothing wrong with Brazilian Portuguese, but it's just not the Portuguese that I want to learn. So if I were going to be spending time with Portuguese, I would have to find European Portuguese things to watch. Um, Cidade Invisível is out, but again, it's in Brazilian Portuguese. I've seen four episodes. I haven't seen the last two episodes. I think I would delay watching that after a few more hours in European Portuguese. Um, because that is, again, what I'm saying is the accent that I want to learn. And then... <clears throat> And then I'm also re-watching shows to pick up new things about that. So I got this idea from Days of French and Swedish. Go check out his um, YouTube channel. And it does make sense that if I liked a movie, um, I would watch it again. Because there might be things that I didn't pick up the first time around that I could watch it again. So I think I would be watching Encanto for the third time now and actually for the fourth time. I watched it in English twice because the second time I watched my dad. So the f 
third time was in Portuguese, European Portuguese, so I might watch it again. And I've seen Frozen 2 also in European Portuguese. I might watch... Oh, I'm also watching, or I started watching Alice Through the Looking Glass. I love that show. The second Alice in Wonderland um, live action remake. I loved it with Johnny Depp and not Vikander. What's this? Um, Mia Vasikowska? Va Vasi. Yeah, that Mia. The Vashi. Wait. Vashikovska, I think. What is her name? Mia Vasikowska is, I think, how you. Yeah. <laughs> and. Oh, yeah. What else? Oh, no. So there. And then. Yes. Oh, I'm also watching The Americans right now. But basically, because I want to spend time in Portuguese, like I told myself that I would not watch things in English anymore. Because if I'm going to be um, spending time, like, chilling, relaxing, watching Netflix, I might as well um, use that time to really um, add input for... The languages that I'm learning so basically no English is what I'm trying to do but the dub uh, the dubs that are available for for the Americans is only in Brazilian Portuguese so sometimes I just watch it in English with um, European Portuguese subtitles um, I don't count that as hours because I obviously would register the English first than the European Portuguese so but it is a struggle because um, there's not a lot of um, translations or audiobooks of English books in European Portuguese um, so I think I would have to look for original books and that would but at the same time those original books would have to be something that I'm interested in, like in Russian Prestuplini in Nakazani. Um, it's originally in Russian and something that I'm interested in. So that's one of the things I have to look for in Portuguese. So lastly, <clears throat> classes with tutors. Okay, so I treat these classes as actually my like exam. Like how much have I read, listened and absorbed on my own and then apply it to my um, my classes like could I understand what they're asking of me could I reply um, and express how I think and feel and the last two classes that I've had Ajminiash duas aula duas aulas ultimas aulas Ajminiash duas ultimas aulas as minhas últimas duas aulas there. Um, basically, my last two classes. Uh, one with an Angolan. She was great. She was friendly, and she gave me like right off the bat. Asked me to present myself. I mean to represent her, to introduce myself, and then she gave me a different questions, and I had to answer like what the what is in, um, internal beauty for me? What's external beauty? And then basically out of um, descri descriptive words, adjectives um, came out when I was speaking and answering her questions. And at the end of 45 minutes, um, she rated me basically. And I was surprised at her surprised at her rating because she said that based on the way I answered my, her questions, I was at a high intermediate and low advanced. And with less than two years in the language getting to a high intermediate and low advanced is like is where I am with my Chongwon I've had 13 or actually 14 years of Mandarin and I'm barely a I think I'm at most high 
low to medium intermediate i think maybe i could talk about like daily stuff and like basically right now but of course with better grammar and um words because of i've had more than like i think i've had like a five thousand plus hours um of mandarin or maybe even more yeah i think i computed it last time across 14 years 45 i know 90 minutes per day and then across um 10 months per year times 13 years 14 years yeah something like that plus um i would have to add um tutor sessions watching shows like i loved crouching tiger hidden dragon you know and wait that was an english show what the heck am i talking about oh the cctv shows like i remembered there was shows that i watched while i was at my tutor so anyway my point is in that short amount of time getting to a even a b was amazing and the next class i had was with danielle my long time shooter i started way back 2021 when i started and at first um 30 minutes was more than enough i think um because each sentence would have to be written down for me basically i did not know anything um now say nada sobre portuguese sobre lingua portuguese and well i think our last conversation was about the culture here in the philippines um i was explaining that it's still a very matriarchal society compared to the rest of asia like china or india or, um and then that it was that the philippines is a predominantly catholic country and we are celebrating the easter season right now um those are concepts or things that i would not have been able to express at that time and sure enough those are those questions were never you know never given like posed to me at that time because well um these are um, ideas that are not very um it's not not basic i mean you don't ask kids like what's the culture of your country how um um like yeah you just don't ask that the the concepts are more complicated than um than that so we started of course like where are you i'm home and what do you do your name your age um basic things um inside what's uh how do you say inside outside um right beside you know the basic stuff but after a thousand hours a thousand and thirteen hours and almost two years um it would be two years in june um so that's like a month away i am generally proud of my progress in portuguese and i'm going to continue of course so that's it for this video i'm going to make a Russian update and a French update next and I'm going to release those sometime after this video <laughs> so thanks for watching and go learn your own language <laughs> um, I mean another a foreign language so that's it ciao a tempo